All right, welcome to a new tutorial here on my YouTube channel. And this will be a different kind of tutorial, not a coding tutorial. This will be a tutorial requested by Matthew, which is this guy here. Um, converting Unity skeleton meshes, like a character or zombie in this case, uh, to Unreal Engine. To the default Unreal Engine rig. So I have here already a Unity project where I inserted my my asset pack I recently bought, and we start off with this here. So set model we have here A and B. We have materials, all are PNG, and yeah, it's good because we need obviously the textures and the FBX. So what you need for this is uh, Maya, Blender, um, Mixamo and Unreal Engine, obviously. <laughs> so first off, we want to import uh, this model here in Maya. So uh, I already have model here, but we create a new scene. I save this as uh, Zombie uh, zero zero. Right. So first off, we import our model into Maya, which is assets zombies. The third one model, and this one import. So. What we want to do here in Maya is we want to delete the rig inside our outliner. So go window and then outliner. And as we can see, the rig is here in group. So this is this is a rig. So we want to delete the rig because um, this rig doesn't have the requirements we need for the Unreal Engine rig. There are missing bones like uh, Spline 2 and Spline 3 and stuff like that. So we want to delete this. And now we want to apply the textures to it so we don't lose our texture groups. So we have here Zombie AC Hat Material. We go here and check File. Then we want to uh, go to our textures folder for this model, model materials. So we have here body and hat. We selected hat. So we need uh, hat and this is A. So hat A, this will be the hat. Uh, shading. Hardware texturing, so we see the hat. This looks fine. So now we select the the body. Select here under color, file. Select the file. This will be body. Open. So as you can see, there are missing stuff like normal maps and stuff, but uh, it doesn't matter because we want to edit. Um, in Unreal Engine, we just need those two skin groups, and if we don't add them, they we are losing them. If we upload the mesh to Mix Ammo, so yeah, export this. Uh, I use the game exporter because I can select here the FBX version, and Mix Ammo doesn't use uh, 2016, 2017 of FBX, so. 2014 2015 will do it and I select my folder and call this zombie uh, 03 a Maya so we export it from Maya export successful then we go to Mixamo select our character file the Maya character file open
it's processing the correct uh, for a short duration hopefully There we go. Great. So now I press next and we have to select the chin here. So we go here to the chin. So this is this is the chin. Then we want the uh hands here, the wrists. So should do it. The elbows it's like uh, here then the knees and the crown so place it here and next now he's rigging the character I think the new bones we need. This shouldn't take so long. There we go. And as you can see it's it's pretty weird because we have here the LOD in the background. But the character itself is moving correctly as you can see everything is seems to be fine. So what we do now is downloading it with T pose as FBX. And we call this here mix ammo. There we go. So now we go into Blender. I open a new thing here. Come on. Delete the the full stuff like the cube, the camera, and the lamp. And we want to import the uh, mix ammo file. So F. Oh, oops. Import FBX desktop and from Xamo the one. Import. So now the thing is we first of all want to delete the LODs. So here in the outliner, delete the LODs. You may ask why didn't we just delete the rig here inside um, of Blender? That's because uh, in the hierarchy, if we delete the rig, uh, it will expand the uh, the object mesh and won't combine it again. And we've got a few problems with the uh, with the UVs. So. That's why. So, yeah, what we want to do now is we select the amateur and go here to object and change it to root because we want to add our root bone and then we are ready to export it. Make sure uh, at the forward axis we use the minus yaw forward and Z up. Right, and we save this as zombie. 
zero three a u e four export right then we go into unreal as you can see i have here already a few zombie mages so we go create a new folder called zombie zero three then import the rig we've created and changed and this will be zero three uh, i guess it's here or not where is it where the hell do we save it don't tell me i saved it under documents i saved this under documents so import it skeleton mesh import mesh um we don't want to import materials and textures because we will do it later so yeah press import we can actually import materials so we don't need to create them at the end all right so here we go we have here the hair and the body material there are some miss missing stuff but yeah it should do it so this works pretty easy with this mesh here because it's a pose the default Unreal Engine A pose. Uh, the default pose of Unreal Engine's rig is the A pose, so we don't have to move his arms. If it would be a T pose, we we just can rotate uh, the right arm and stuff like that. So, and then uh, under, let's open up the the skeleton. We just can select it here and rotate it and then save pose and then retarget it normally. So before we want to use it, before we can use it, we want to retarget it uh, to assign it to the Unreal Engine skeleton. So select zombie zero three here, select rig, select humanoid rig and then we want to set this so pel pelvis will be hips the spine will be spine spine 2 will be spine 1 spine 3 will be spine 2 cervical will be left shoulder left arm left forearm and left hand then we go here for the right side right shoulder right arm right forearm and the right hand then we want to select the neck the hat got already s selected then we want to have the uh, what was it left up leg no wait I'm not sure what was it left up leg yes the left up leg left up leg left leg and left foot then the right one, right up leg, right leg, and the right foot. So we could set the advanced like the fingers and stuff like that, but we don't need them for this. So yeah, just save it, and we should be ready to retarget this. So for example, I use here the in root motion. Um, those animations I bought so we can here go to mesh and make sure in the skeleton we have this retarget source here we have selected the rake humanoid and this stuff is correctly assigned so if this is true we can 
easily just go into the animations, select the animation we want. For example, zombie walk, we just say retarget NMS. We select our zombie we've created. We change the path to assets zombie free. All right, and retarget. And if we did everything right, it should look like this. We can also enable root motion because it has a root bone. Hell yeah, it's working. Perfect. So yeah, I hope this was a bit helpful and see you in the next tutorial.